there guys and gals this is barbie figaro with rise marketing and design.com and thank you so much for watching my video well in this video i was kind of like inspired to make this video after watching another video by someone that i follow on youtube and uh, he has become like this virtual kind of mentor to me and even though i don't follow all of his videos he's got a lot of videos that really you know appeal to me and um confirm a lot of the things that I I've learned throughout my journey and stuff like that and so he recently did a video called uh, the number one secret that all millionaires know and it really intrigued me um, and so I was like you know let me watch this video and see what it's all about and after I watched it I was like yes you know he just confirmed exactly what I knew and this is why so many people struggle online because they don't know this principle and you don't have to be a millionaire to know this principle and to start applying this principle into your business. So if you want to know what that one thing, that one fundamental business building principle or even life principle, to be honest, if you want to know what that is, then keep on watching. <laughs> Hey guys and gals again this is barbie figueroa with rise marketing and design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate that all right guys and gals so yes on my spare time i also do self-education and i'm learning and i'm absorbing information from people who are more uh, advanced than me or who are more you know quote unquote successful than me and so i was what i was on youtube the other day and uh, I'm subscribed to Dan Locke. And if you are not subscribed to Dan Locke, he's he, he's got some really good videos. As a matter of fact, it's funny because Dan Locke, when I first started, I bought a copywriting book. And uh, I've actually left this comment on his video before. I was like, wow, I can't believe that. The very first copywriting book was from this mysterious guy named Dan Locke. And now he's, you know, front and center on YouTube with over 2 million subscribers. He's a high ticket closer and all that stuff. Now, I'm not involved in high ticket closer. I'm not involved in anything. Dan has never mentored me. Nothing like that. I'm just talking about the video that he did the other day because it really left an impression on me. And that is the number one secret that all millionaires know. And I'm like, okay, I want to know what it is. So I was watching his video and I'll link it right below as well and I might botch it a little bit so make sure to check it out yourself if you're curious. So basically in a nutshell he was saying something to the effect that you know because of his culture his family wanted him to be like a professional whether it be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that and he knew that he kind of wanted to do his own thing and make his own money and, and stuff like that. So long story short, he's walking one day and he saw an older gentleman struggling uh, pushing a lawnmower. So he goes up to the gentleman and he says, hey, let me help you with that. Let me help you. I'll mow your lawn and that way you don't have to struggle with this. And so the older man let him do it. So he proceeded to grab the lawnmower and mow the gentleman's lawn. Well, to his surprise, after he was done, the gentleman gave him $20. So he's like, Oh my gosh like what wow like it, it sparked an idea like i could actually maybe do a business with this like i sh i can do my own lawn lawn cutting business right like i i, I gave this guy uh, a you know my service and he gave me 20 dollars just like that right so anyway long story short he's like okay i'm gonna go and i'm gonna build this lawn mowing service and so he's trying to figure out ways to you know start his business so he comes back to the guy one day and he's like hey listen can we can we barter a deal here can i can you lend me your lawn mower and um i'll lawn, i'll mow your lawn for free right and uh that way i can go and start my own little lawn mowing business because he can afford to buy his own lawn mower so the guy's like yeah great no problem so now Dan's like, okay, I'm in business. It's great. It's awesome. And so he started to go and try to promote himself and start trying to get people to want to mow their lawn with him. And he would go and ask, you know, can I mow your lawn? Can I mow your lawn? And people are like, no, no, no. It was just like rejection everywhere. And he started trying to come up with different ideas on how to mow people's lawns and uh, including like putting his lawn service in the back of someone's business card to see if they can go and help promote him and all this stuff. 
but it wasn't really working. It wouldn't take off. And he's like, you know, I don't understand this. Like, why is it that it worked so easily, right, for me to mow this guy's lawn? He gave me $20. Why was it so easy? And then it came to him. He's like, oh, well, maybe what I should do is just mow the person's lawn and then they'll pay me, right? And he also tells you in the video, don't do that. It might not be, you know, the, the best approach, okay? <laughs> but he was a teenager when he did it, and so it was no big deal. So anyway, so he ended up going to, like, a more wealthy, affluent neighborhood, and he would see, you know, who, who needs their lawn mowed. And then he went, and he mowed the lawn of a wealthy lady. And, you know, uh, he, when she was driving back home, she passed right by her house because she couldn't even recognize it because it was the lawn was mowed, right? And uh, he sat there and he's like, I'm going to wait uh, to see, you know, I'm going to wait till the, the person comes home so that I can, I can get paid, right? <laughs> so, but anyway, so he's sitting in front of the person's home, which is probably not the best idea, but like I said, he was a teenager and that's what he did. And the person drove up and then he's like, she's like, wow, my it, my lawn looks so beautiful. And he's like, yeah, I, I, I saw that you needed your lawn mowed and I just took it upon myself and I mowed your lawn. And then she's like, oh my gosh, well, my husband travels and we don't have time to do it. And we were looking for somebody anyway. So what if you mow my lawn, right? And he's like, great. So she paid him. And now he started mowing the lawn, all right? And of course I said, I might be botching the details, so go watch the video yourself, okay? <laughs> so what he learned from it, and which I was like, yes, because at first I wasn't 100% I wasn't sure where he was going with the story, but the reason why it worked the first time, okay, was because he wasn't thinking of himself. He wasn't thinking of what was in it for him. He just wanted to help this guy mow his lawn because he saw that he was struggling pushing the lawnmower machine. So when it boils down to it is the difference between those that are climbing and doing well, right? And those that continue to struggle, they have a different mindset. The mindset of someone who is prospering and doing well and doing better is what can I do for others first without any expectation for anything in return. In other words, how can I lead by giving? How can I lead with value? See, a big mistake that we make as new marketers, and I just had it just recently, is we lead by asking, what can you do for me? What can, um, will you join me? This is the best thing since sliced bread. Here's my link. Let me tell you what business I'm involved with so you can join me. It's all about me, me, me. It is self-centered. And it's very difficult for doors to open when you're leading by taking. You need to lead by giving. So if you want to be a good receiver, you have got to be a good giver. A mentor once told me a long time ago that what you give away, you get to keep. Now let that sink in for a minute. It's super duper powerful. What you give away, you get to keep. And because I am a woman of faith, I know that what you give away freely and cheerfully, you will get in return abundantly, right? When you do things with a cheerful, giving heart, not with the expectation to get something in return. So how can you translate this idea into, let's say, sponsoring more people into your affiliate program or your network marketing program, right? Well, instead of leading by asking people to join you, you have to lead with value. So how can you lead with value? Well, build a funnel that offers to give some information away for free that will tie into whatever it is that you're selling on the back end. So for example, let's say you're selling some sort of nutritional shake. You don't want to go around and just tell people, hey, you've got to buy this shake. Hey, what kind of shake are you drinking? You should really check mine out because it's all about you and you don't want to lead that way because what it does is it actually repels people. So instead you can write 
some sort of like report, right? And I'll link some videos right below my video. I have a couple of videos on how you can create beautiful reports, uh, lead magnet, lead generation reports to bring people into your sales process. Because when you lead by giving, then the people that are in the market for what you're selling, they'll want to buy from you because there's no pressure. If they read that ebook and they never buy from you, it's completely okay but you led by giving and you will receive in other ways. You see what I'm saying? So you could do like an ebook that educates people on the dangers of sugar and weight loss, for example. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna educate people on the front end. You're gonna give freely on the front end. You're gonna offer your free report to people and they're gonna say, oh yeah, I wanna know more about that. Here's my email. Now they're in your sales process. Just like Dan Locke was like, hey, let me let me do the lawn mower. Let me let me push that lawn mower for you because it looks like you are struggling with this. So I'll mow your lawn. He didn't he didn't know that the gentleman was going to pay him the twenty dollars. He didn't know that he was going to like wow this was going to create this ripple effect that was going to teach him a huge life lesson. You just don't know what's going to happen when you just lead by giving. So start giving a little bit more and let's stop thinking about ourselves a lot less and lead by giving. So if you are in an affiliate program, network marketing opportunity, I highly encourage you sit down and write what are things that you could help people with? What are things that you could give away first that would eventually expose your product or lead people to buy from you on the back end. Maybe you can do some sort of five day free challenge or write an ebook or do a video series, but give, give, give. And the more you give on the front end, the more people will want to reciprocate and they will prosper you to no bounds. So anyway, I thought that was really great advice and I know what it's like to lead by wanting to take and being all about me. And I've experienced what it's like to lead with giving. And so even with these videos, I take my time to make these videos. I don't know if I'm gonna generate leads. I don't know if anyone's gonna comment or like. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is that I put it out there and I trust that something good will come of it. That's all you can do. So I highly recommend you watch Dan Locke's video, check it out, and then start thinking how you can start applying this principle to your own business. So that's my take on it. It does work. I'm not a millionaire yet, nowhere near, but I do know that, you know, a big shot is just a little shot that kept on shooting. So just take that first step and start leading by giving. So what can you start giving today to your prospects, to your audience? So I'd love to hear what you have to say. Leave me a comment below. How can you start giving more away? What can you give away? Can you give away an ebook? Can you make maybe some videos? Can you uh, just give some someone a little bit of your time without expecting anything in return? What can you do? I'd love to hear some of the creative ideas that you come up with. Well, guys and gals, I hope that this video helped you and it inspired you. And again, I highly recommend that you check out Dan Locke's version of his video. I'll link it right below in the description box. And guys and gals, if you're struggling to generate leads, build your list, build your audience, um, if you're struggling with any of that stuff, if you open up my description box right below my video, I've got a bunch of free training that you can plug into that will help get you on track to start getting results online. So make sure to check out my links inside of my description box right below this video. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video. Bye.